David was, and we see this in the context of fighting Goliath, where David was bold. And another word for courageous is bold, amen? David was bold, and we are bold too, amen? We're bold as lions, amen? The righteous are bold as lions, and God can give us more boldness. But let's take a look at David. The Greek word for courage is tharseo, tharseo. And it means to be of good courage. It also means to be of good cheer. And we said bold, amen, bold, strong, courageous, amen. And I love the way Helps Word Study says it. So I'm going to just read this to you from Helps Word Studies. So it properly, it means bolstered within, which supports unflinching courage. Imagine that you're in the face of adversity and you're not flinching. You're just staring straight at the darkness that's trying to come against you and you're not flinching, you're not moving, you're not getting off your post, you're not letting go of the plow, you're not gonna stop praying, you're not gonna stop going forth, you're not gonna stop doing what God called you to do because you're courageous, you're bold, you're of good cheer, you know who your God is and you're bolstered, you're bolstered with the strength of the Holy Spirit so you're not flinching. You're looking straight ahead. You're not taking your eyes off God. You're moving, you're going, you're flowing, and you're doing whatever God has called you to do. You're not afraid, amen? You're not dismayed. You're not terrified as the Israelites were when Goliath was taunting them. You're like David, you're like, no, I'm courageous. We can take this Philistine, this uncircumcised Philistine. Who is he to come against the armies of the living God? So I love this, bolstered within, which supports unflinching courage, amen? to radiate warm confidence. Wow. Have you ever seen anyone like that where they're so confident, they're so courageous, they so believe in who God is. They're not gonna back down. You know, when they say something and they're like, well, I'm believing God for this, you know, it's done. Because they're believing God. You know, it's just that kind of faith, that kind of assurance. And believing in things that God is really going to do, amen. It's the understanding on the word of God, amen. But it's awesome to see the radiate, the radiate, sorry, excuse me, radiate warm confidence, radiate warm confidence. Larseo also means emboldened to show courage. God is giving you the strength through the Holy Spirit to show courage. It's not coming from your flesh. We've all seen people that are courageous in something other than God. They're, they're people that, you know, suicide bombers or they're, they're courageous and they're blowing up buildings. That's not courageous in our God. Help Word Studies also says this about courage, that it refers to, in the Greek, tharseo, God bolstering the believer, empowering them with a bold inner attitude to be of courage. So God is empowering the believer. Man, we have to be a believer because the indwelling of the Holy Spirit comes at regeneration when we accept Christ as our Savior. Amen. And God is giving us his Holy Spirit, which gives us courage. For the believer, Helps Word Study says, it is showing boldness is the result of the Lord infusing his strength by his inner working of faith. Infusing his strength by his inner working of faith. There's a faith inside of us. God has given us each a measure of faith. And we use that faith to believe, to believe in the power of God. We can be courageous in that, man, because we're fully convinced that God is good and he can do what he said he can do. So we can do what he said we can do through him and through his power. Amen. God is an awesome God. Let's keep going. So showing this unflinching, bold courage means living out the inner confidence and our bolstering that is spirit produced, amen? We have to get that from the Holy Spirit. We can't do that in our own strength. You may have a courage that you naturally are getting or you have some sort of a confidence or a courage, but it needs to come from the Holy Spirit to be able to be unwaning and unflinching in the face of adversity. The Holy Spirit courage that we get is beyond anything that we can comprehend. It truly comes from our Heavenly Father that is within us. And so we need to trust and rely on Him to give us that courage, amen, to fight the battles that we need to fight in this life and wage war against the enemy's camp and to win, amen? Courageous also means to have confidence, courage, or to be unafraid. We wanna be unafraid. God's not giving us a spirit of fear, 2 Timothy 1 and 7 says. 
but a power love and a sound mind. And so we want to trust in God on today. There's no reason to be afraid. God has overcome every obstacle and everything that is coming against us is subject to the power of God and the authority that he has given us as born and given believers so we can fight the good fight of faith and come against those things in prayer, fasting, and worship, and fighting, amen, with our sword of the spirit and really trusting God fully armored, amen?